Hey guys, it's Mommy's Crafty Side with another tutorial for you. Our tutorial today is going to be how to make half inch cap earrings. What you're going to need to do this tutorial is obviously half inch caps. Um, they can come in color or silver. You're also going to need a pair of earring posts, which are a little flat piece on front. You can get that in different millimeters, so be careful because some are very tiny and with the post in the back. Also, you're gonna need two back stoppers and some half inch images of your choice, okay? Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is also have some E6000. I live by it, I love it. Um, you're gonna wanna open that up and you're gonna wanna flip these over. You also wanna do it in a pretty ventilated area because E6000 is kind of smelly. Also, if you have E6000 and you're not used to using it, it is a little bit stringy, kind of like hot glue but without the hot part. What you're going to want to do is it's going to ball up at the top and you can kind of see that. You push it in there and then if you push down really hard as you put it in there, like just like really hard real quick, it'll actually not string up as much. And then you can put your cap right back on because E6000, because it's like two gases pushing, it tends to like leave a little bead and it'll actually just keep pushing out even without you touching it. So you want to put your cap immediately back on. That was a pointer that I learned the hard way. I had it like all over my fingers so it kind of sucked. Now you'll take your post and your cap with your little E6000 in it and you're going to want to make sure that you push it all the way till the metal is touching the metal. And I hold it for about 25 seconds just so that it gets a good base. Now once you've done that I just leave it, what I'll do is I'll do like 10 sets at a time and then I just just leave them right next to each other to dry. I'll give them 24 hours to dry but I, like if I need them really quick they're usually done within 30 to 45 minutes drying pretty well. So then I set those aside. Now I already have some done that have been sitting out so these are ready and this is what they should look like and they're all ready to go. What you're also going to need is your half inch epoxy okay I'm gonna go ahead and take my image set these are MCS uh, sticker images and I'm just gonna stick that right on there okay so I'm gonna show you one more time a little bit closer and I just get it right edge to edge and push down the same way I do a bottle cap but tinier then you get your half inch epoxy and you do the same with that edge to edge and push that on. I like to make sure that's pushed on really well and ta-da! You've got your earrings. You want to make sure that the post is set in really well so you may want to double check on your post and just wiggle it a little bit and if it doesn't wiggle you're all good. You can put these on earring cards or you can put these just straight like with a little gift and I've seen them also put in just the really short little baggies um, they do sell those at Michaels for like I think you get a hundred for like three dollars so it's pretty reasonable and you've got your earring stoppers on them and they are ready to wear and that is all it takes to get your half inch post earrings you can also do them on the hook but I don't usually recommend that only because if it's a child and it falls apart, they could like try to eat it because these are smaller than the regular bottle caps. Uh, we sell the posts 20, which is 10 posts, 10 backs, for $3 on our website, craftysidesupplyshop.com. Uh, we have a 10, 10, 10 deal on colored half inch epoxies for $12. You get an image set, you get your 10 half inch epoxy and 10 half inch caps in colored for 12 in silver for 10 so it's always a good thing to kind of know where to get your stuff from anyway hopefully that was really helpful it's really quick and again give it about you want to give this about mm, 12 to 24 hours to ventilate what I do is I I do a whole tray of them maybe 10 different sets I'll leave them out I'll put them out right before I go to bed I'll leave them out and then the next morning when I come out they're ready to go and I didn't have to like stress myself out or wait. So you know it just depends on your personal preference or leave them out while you go to work during the day. Uh, make sure your posts are set in really well. I recommend a wide 
a wide post, but if you like the smaller ones, that's fine. The wide one just gives it a lot bigger of a base, which I just think is a little better. And any of the images that you're going to use, um, I recommend using any type of super glue on the back if you can, if you're not using sticker images. Sticker images, though, are made to adhere to pretty much anything, so they'll work really well for you. Anyway, good luck making your earrings, and hopefully you'll be able to make some really nice gifts and products for your line.